Fourth and five with Russell Wilson or 64 yards with Brandon McManus? Yeah, you know, looking back at it, we definitely should have gone for it. Bronco Seahawks recap. Third down and goal for the United States. Empty backfield, three man rush. He bounces around and throws. DT is there. Are they going to say touchdown? Touchdown! Demarius Thomas. As Wilson fires down the field. He's got it. Touchdown! In the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. It was Vaughn Miller with the strip sack. What's going on Broncos country? Welcome to another episode of the Broncos Fancast. I'm your host Aaron Johnson and uh, I hope you guys are feeling a lot better than I am. A day removed from this game and I still feel like my girlfriend cheated on me. Um, in this episode, I'm going to give some encouraging takeaways from the game as well as the negatives and I'm also going to talk about why the Denver Broncos as a team owe Russell Wilson an apology. So uh, let's get into it. So I like to start with some of the positives. The first one I like to talk about is Jerry Judy. We went an entire full season last year without seeing him get into the end zone. And in the first game with Russell Wilson, as quarterback, he catches a bomb. The defense caught up to him, and from that point on, it was a foot race, and Jerry Judy just took the fuck off on him. So um, very encouraging to see that, especially for the rest of the season and what his numbers might look like. I also loved what I saw from Cortland Sutton. His improvision when the play broke down was exactly what I know Russell Wilson was looking for um, and what he meant by... There's, there's always two plays within one play when Russell Wilson's at quarterback. So a very positive sign for our wide receivers for from this point going forward. Also, um, the defense. I know the defense started out terrible in the first half, but in the second half, they completely picked it up. In the fourth quarter, I think they held them to negative 12 yards total. Uh, they scored no points in the second half. And Bradley Chubb specifically stuck out in the biggest moments of the game. He got two big sacks. Great to see Bradley Chubb get in the sack column because him as well. The entire last year, we did not get to see one sack from him. So very, very, very encouraging signs. Also, I loved the way that we were moving the ball up and down the field at will pretty much. We just couldn't get it into the end zone. Out of all the games this weekend, the Broncos and Seahawks were number three on the list as far as yards disparity. Um, that just shows that we were dominating them for the majority of the game. We just kept making mistakes and couldn't get the ball in the end zone. That's pretty much all I have as far as positive takeaways. Now to the negatives. So first, absolutely sloppy game. One of the sloppiest games I feel like I've ever seen us play. Um, We had 12 penalties for 106 yards, and seven of those penalties resulted in first downs for the Seattle Seahawks. It's just... How do you expect to slow teams down when you're just giving them first downs? Many of them were on third and longs. Um, The ball would have been punted back off to us. We just kept stripping ourselves of opportunities to score. We already lost a couple fumbles. We couldn't score close to the goal line. And just giving up first down after first down, it's very hard to win games that way. Next is obviously the turnovers. Um, Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon fumbling right there at the goal line is just completely unacceptable. Although that was a large majority, you know, their fault for not holding onto the ball, the play call to me was also terrible. I don't understand why we're running these style plays on the goal line. No option of of the quarterback keeping it to run it himself. It's just a handoff from the shotgun giving the, the defensive goal line a chance to break through the line for the stuff, and that's exactly what happened. As I mentioned before, our lack of scoring touchdowns, two of them on the goal line, as we know from the fumbles, but then also we have two drops in the end zone from our tight ends, one being an actual drop um, hitting his hands and he just, him just not being able to haul it in. And the other one, he just barely misses his toe from out of bounds. He catches the ball, but his toenail touches the, the out of bounds line and it doesn't count. That's 
literally four touchdowns right there. Not to mention Cortland Sutton's false start, which prevented the touchdown from Andrew Beck. Five touchdowns. This game should have been an absolute blowout, but we completely blew it. Also, I didn't love the communication between the play calling and the quarterback. So basically Hackett and Russell Wilson, it seemed like a lot of plays took a while to develop or to even get started. And by the time they're at the line, there's only five seconds left on the play clock and Russell Wilson has to hurry it up. That to me just leads to a lot of the defense being able to have the extra jump on you knowing when the ball's going to snap. So I definitely would love to see that get cleaned up, get our plays going a lot faster to give us time to audible and things of that nature. I also would like to see more passing plays that give an option for Russell Wilson to take off and run if the play breaks down. It doesn't seem like we had a lot of that going on. You know, I love the play action, but I feel like sometimes we need to mix out a little bit of the spread offense in there and uh, just let Russ start cooking. And if the play breaks down, use his legs to make some plays happen. But uh, we didn't really get to see too much of that. And we just really need to get the wide receivers involved more. Javante Williams led all of the pass catchers with 11 catches, while our wide receivers, the highest, had four. Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton both had four. We got to get them involved much, much sooner. So finally, I would like to talk about the game management. This is the part to me that just crushed me and hurt the most. Obviously, Nathaniel Hackett calls for Brandon McManus to come out and kick a 64-yard field goal as opposed to letting Russell Wilson try to pick up the fourth and five. This one hurt so much because not only did we lose, but it's just in the fashion in which this whole thing happened in the last just talking about it brings the feelings back up and hurts again <laughs> he thought at the time that brandon mcmanus had a higher chance of making that field goal than they did of picking up the first down which is just such a questionable thought process in itself right there but the thing to me that really really just hurt the most is the fact that russell wilson left Seattle because they were hindering him and not letting him do what he does best only to come to Denver and that exact thing happened to him on the last play in Seattle against his former team when we know how bad he wants to win this game. That to me is just the most hurtful thing it's like he's never going to have this opportunity again. Even if we play them again, it's just not the same. We had the whole off-season buildup from being traded and the schedule makers make it the first game of the season. Everybody in Seattle's booing him as he comes out there. It was just all built up. Just just massive mountain of buildup for this game only for the ball to be taken out of Russell Wilson's hands to win the game and then we end up losing and it's just that to me I feel like hurts me more than losing the game itself is the fact that how that played out for Russell Wilson like it was such a perfect opportunity to get sweet revenge on Pete Carroll revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting pussy and Nathaniel Hackett just completely robbed him of that moment so with all the drops in the end zone, um, the fumbles on the goal line and the penalties, and obviously not letting Russell Wilson have a chance to win the game, for that I say, Russell Wilson, we are sorry. You deserve better, especially after this entire off season and what we said we were gonna do for you as a team. We did not live up to that whatsoever in this game. Um, so we we got to play better. At the end of the day, we got to do better as a team all the way around from top to bottom. Yes, Russell Wilson didn't have the, the sharpest game we've ever seen, but he did play good. Threw for 340 yards and a touchdown. He should have probably had three or four touchdowns or at least 
led three or four touchdown drives. <laughs> So honestly, I'm not sure what else even to say right now. Um, I just am looking forward to the Texans and seeing if we can get some some of these things cleaned up because it was just one of the sloppiest games I've ever seen. I don't know. We just looked like a bunch of sloppy Joes out there. Hans the Marsh, sloppy Joes. <laughs> I made them extra sloppy for you. <laughs> So with all that being said, there are some positives um, to take away from it. We did move the ball damn near at will. Um, we just got to punch it into the end zone. We do that, we win this game in a blowout fashion. So let's see if we can get it cleaned up Sunday. And um, that's really all I have for you today. So Broncos country, let's ride. Thank you for tuning in to the Broncos FanCast. I love the fuck out of you guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and show your boy some love.